I guess really, well, it's kind of fundamental level, it's just to make a really good pop album. Well, we just didn't want it to sound straight ahead at all, did we? That was the thing. Mm. Yeah. And it, it could be an easy thing to do to, you know, make it sound like classic funk or soul or something really smooth that you'd hear on Smooth FM. It's just, you know. And then at every point we thought it's going that way, we've kind of gone. Yeah, yeah. Safe, safe, it safe no really to safe. Safe yeah. is boring. <laughs> so, you know. I guess it's, you know, like I was saying to you, you, you make your first album once, so it's everything that I've ever listened to for the last, whatever, 18 years. Um, but in terms of this record, uh, you know, a lot of your classic funk stuff like Sly and the Family Stone and um, people like Shuggy Otis and Sam Cooke and Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder and Prince, like all those big kind of iconic music makers um, in the kind of funk, soul and black music side. But, you know, I, I didn't really get into that until I was into my teens. So I started off on ELO and the Beatles and Queen and stuff like that. Um, and then got into soul and jazz and stuff. But oh, that's all, that's all on here, believe it or not. <laughs> Everything I've just mentioned in, in between, it's, it's there somewhere, uh, which again, I think it's been part of the goal. Mm. You know, it's, it's, it's a really, it should be a really interesting listen. I don't think at any point in the way, along the way that I've needed persuading in terms of taking risks and not being safe. Um, because anything that's safe, it's already there in record. You can go and buy it in a shop now. Why bother buying this when it comes out? I think you you've know? been amazing from that point of view. From my, you know, from from what I, from what people I've worked with before, you've been completely the opposite. You know, mm. been like, oh God, Craig, great, let's just chuck it all out the window and kind of, you know, start yeah, again yeah. and just. Uh, Definitely, I mean... completely rework it, which has been really good fun. It'd be quite easy to take these songs and make a retro record or make a funk record in 2007 or a soul classic, you know. Um, and that's quite... That kind of thing's quite in right now. You know, you've got people like Amy Winehouse doing... mining that particular area of music, but... what she's doing, she's got quite... Um, acerbic lyrics. They're quite cutting, you know, you wouldn't have people singing about rehab, like you were saying, mm. back in the 60s, in the girl groups. No. Uh, or, you know, you know, you don't mean dick to me. You know, you could <laughs> imagine the Shirelles singing that. You? <laughs> you don't mean dick to me. <laughs> no. um, so I think it's really interesting to bring that kind of rock background and what I've been to, into for the last 15 years, put it together. Hopefully something quite fresh coming out of the UK, certainly.